Alright, so at this point in the video, you guys are probably wondering, when is this door going to be built? So what I did was I went ahead and put all the pieces together. As you can see, I still have some hand sanding, but we are getting a lot closer where we need to be. Here's a quick view of all the pieces together. As you can see, it's not quite in the center, but it's where we, you know, it's where we need to be. Um, I realize it's not going to be perfect. I don't have a metal lathe to create this perfectly center and square, um, but I did my best. So you probably also saw me uh, using gun bluing liquid to uh, gun blue the, these pieces. Um, after putting it together and looking at it, I decided to get rid of it. So I sanded all the gun bluing away and I left it kind of shiny. So here we are. So let's get back to the hand sanding on both sides and we could put a final edge on this thing. And then when I put this together for good, I'm gonna of course use epoxy and this will never be able to come apart. So even though everything's threaded and meant to be taken apart, um, I'd feel more secure if, if everything's epoxied together. So I don't know if you can see the guard. It's got that nice shiny piece of uh, 15 and 20 down the middle. And then the spacer, it's got a couple swirly lines down it or, or around it, excuse me. So kind of matches the handle a little bit. So let's get going on the hand sanding and we can finish this sword. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Before we wrap it up, I'm gonna demolish the forge with this sledgehammer. And as always, a special thank you for everyone following along with the sword build. I'm gonna save the last part, the final chapter, for assembling and testing. So I can't wait for that. And once again, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button and we will see you on the final chapter.